Hello everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing Man of the Match, Willian. So just in terms of expectations, lads, this card overall seems insane. The only one thing that is like very, like not bad, but it's kind of met is the physical. So he's, he's really fast, good shooting, very good passing, very good dribbling. So I'm really looking forward to reviewing this card. So in terms of cheaper alternatives, we first have Willian's 86 card. Now, both of these cards are similar. There's a little bit of a difference in the shooting, but we want to see if it's worth that extra 60, 70 K. And we also have Sterling. So just looking at Willian's stats, overall he seems pretty good, like you're going to expect him to be weak, so that's the first thing from the outset, we expect him to be pretty weak. You know, we see a 70 physical and we know he's small, we expect him to be a little bit weak. Um, his pace, his shooting, his dribbling, his passing, they all seem very good. The only yellow stat in that area is volleys, which we will increase because I put a hunter card on him because I kind of, I wanted to improve that pace up to the point of where he couldn't, you know, be caught by anyone and I wanted to increase his finishing so that when it came to the vital moments he'd put the ball in the back of the net. Right lads, so just getting into the clips, I love this card, um, he's insane. In terms of getting away from players, he's one of the best, just in terms of how fast he is, how, you know, oh, okay, do it again. <clears throat> okay lads, so just getting into the clips, he's insane. He's probably the best cam card, like I know He's a right wing, but I usually play him out on the right side of a 4-2-3-1, or I play him as a cam in a 4-1-2-1-2, or you can play him as striker. And in every single one of those positions, he's insane. He's really, really fast. Very few players can catch him once he gets going. His dribbling is insane. Like, the only person or players that I've used are, you know, like, Messi or Maradona was ridiculous in terms of dribbling. Probably the best I've used, but... Willian is right up there. His finishing also is one of his best attributes on this card. There is a little bit of a difference between his um, his 86 and his 87. On this 87, he's a lot more clinical when it comes to those big moments. On his 86, sometimes it was kind of hit and miss. On this 87 card, though, he's insane. He is the perfect cam for me. He assists, he is fast, he can dribble, he can shoot from anywhere. He's, in, he's insane, lads. The only negative I have about Willian is literally he's just weak that is the only thing he's going to get pushed off the ball sometimes we expect that though but if you know how to utilize him perfectly in terms of that dribbling and that link up play he's always going to be there he's always a presence on the field he will always come into the play and try to affect the game he's not going to be one of those players that just you know sits out in the wing and doesn't do anything because of those work rates he will get into the game and score goals or give you assists so in terms of a rating, well, we're going to give him the highest rating so far, a 9.5. The only reason why he is not getting a 10 is just because he's a little bit weak. That's the only thing. Um, is he worth it? So compared to that, to that Willian card, that 60k, in my opinion, yes. Simply because when it comes up to those big moments where you want him to put the ball in the back of the net, there is a difference between the 86 and the 87. And he is full chance ready, lad. He is like I've already used him in the first five games this weekend, and he's already banging in goals and assisting. So 100% get him if you can. Anyway, lads, that's going to be the end of this review, and I will talk to you later.